let, let's take a look at the message you sent. And yes. you, you and, and and you said you you meant it. You said you need an exorcism. She does. You're just evil. She is. And confused. She is. Our relationship will never recover. Look at how ugly you are inside and out, because you're an evil bitch. I wish Maxwell had survived and you died, bitch. You're a waste <laughs> of life. Now, this is while she is lying in the hospital bed. How does it affect you that she responds to hearing that even now? How with, does that affect with, me? With pain and tears of pain in front of you right now. You know, I, I actually have mixed emotions. I, I didn't just wake up, Kiara, and text you the next day. You is what you do. You never leave things alone. You, you text me a message. Oh, I know you mean well. I didn't believe it because I feel like anything you say concerning me and how you claim you love and appreciate me, you don't show it. You say it. Okay, wait a minute. You're, you're still taking her inventory. You started that text that I no, just no, no, read no, an no, excerpt no, no, no. from. I sent that when she sent someone to come pick up my grandsons, whom I had had since Tuesday, 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm good enough when you need to go to the doctor, when you want to lay up and get your sleep and rest. And then because I asked your husband to pick them up the following morning, you, you have them snatched away. So that unleashed the dragon. I think and you... I felt the rage. OK, well, let's talk about... And that's why I let it on you. Let's talk about unleashing the dragon. And that's why I let it on you. On Thursday, February 11th, you, you did send an email. The subject is low-life ass. And it said, in part, you're a miserable, hateful, low-life bitch, a low-down, black-hearted snake. You're dead to me, you blank snake. You're the reason poor Maxwell died, you rotten bitch. Now... <laughs> Seriously, yeah. it, you're, you're going to tell me that there is a context in which you send your daughter, who has just lost a child, yeah. and, and where were you on February 11th? I was still in the hospital. I was laying in the hospital bed recovering from a C-section. Oh, oh, you know what? You... The only thing is she said... She said Here's the so problem. So, no, let me. her talk. Let I'm okay. asking her a question. Okay, go ahead. I, I lay in the hospital bed after my surgery. She calls me, tells me so-and-so sends their condolences. I listened to that for about two days. The third day, I couldn't take it anymore. I said, you know what? I know you mean well, but I don't think it was right for you to tell everyone right away about it's Maxwell's death. Let, me Let finish, her you know. speak. All right, go ahead. I told her, I don't think it's right that you're telling all of your friends, putting it on Facebook, calling everyone that you know, and telling them about Maxwell's death before I even had the opportunity, me and my husband, to process it. She snapped. Moments later, that's when all the text messages and all the emails Lie. started. No, no, no. And she called me ungrateful. Lie. And Stop. at that exact moment, Dr. Phil, I was grateful that she had my other kids while I was in the hospital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've always been grateful, hmm. but at that exact moment, no, no, I no. felt as though... No, no gratitude. Okay, stop. Now, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you to leave the stage if you can't control yourself here, because I'm, I'm going to give you the floor in just a minute and let oh, you oh, say okay, everything okay. you want to okay, say, I'll, but I'll, you're I'll, not going to continue to interrupt. To, to interrupt here. I apologize, Dr. Phil. And I know it's hard. It is. But I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you... Because it's lies. That's, that's how she all, does. That, that's all it you see, is. You see? Okay. And she wants to push... She, she's such the victim. That's oh, poor does. little Miss Private is the, the perfect okay. victim. Okay, hold on. Are you saying you're here to justify these texts and emails to no. your daughter while she's in the no, hospital bed I'm having saying. lost a child? No, sir, that's not what I'm saying. Well, what are you saying? What I am saying is, if it, if it was all about she's grieving and, oh, I'm, why did... She didn't need to take the time to double back and have more conversation with okay, me because me, it was a dead topic. When you said she's grieving, you said that in a mocking tone. Mm -hmm. I did. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.